Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today is day four, 30 days of clay and I made this big boy. <laughs> he is a banana desk friend. I absolutely love him. Hopefully this sparks some inspiration to make your own desk friend, giving you a few tips and tricks. Love, love, love the banana, the fruit kind of vibes at the moment being summer. And yeah, I just really, really like it. So this is what it turned out like. Really cute, really, really simple one. Definitely beginner friendly with giving it a little bit of a twist as well. I think it looks more complicated than it actually is because of the peel and stuff. But yeah, hopefully you enjoy this video and I'm just gonna get straight on into it. So the clay that I use is polymer clay, especially for this DIY. You can use air dry clay if you want to, but I'm gonna be specifically talking about polymer clay as that's the clay that I chose to use for this DIY. I do have some air dry clay tutorials coming up. So if that's more your cup of tea, then make sure you are subscribed before leaving today. Um, but yeah, everything in this video, you can transfer to air dry clay if you want to as well. Instead of baking, you just need to leave it air dry. So polymer clay can be quite heavy if you work as a solid piece, especially when working as a big piece. So what I like to do is use tin foil as the base inside of it to make sure that you know it's not so heavy it's not so bulky the way that i did this for this particular piece was made like a giant cheeto shape and then rolled out a piece of polymer clay wrapped it around smoothed it out until i was happy with the shape and then i just like took some tools and made a little mouth in it with this piece i did then bake this before going on to this kind of like step here with the small balls but i did bake it so that it would keep its original shape I often find when like squidging other bits of clay into bigger parts that it moves around a little bit, you get more fingerprints, it's just something you don't want. So if you bake your pieces a couple of times throughout making it, then this can help. If you're using air dry clay, I would recommend leaving the center piece of the banana to air dry before going on and making the skin. This is gonna speed it up exponentially. Again, I would probably make sure to hollow out the center even if you're making this in air dry because it's gonna speed up that drying time. Anyway, moving on to the peel, I just rolled out four balls of polymer clay, just all equal, and I kind of smudged them down into my hands until they were nice and flat, then just placed them onto the body as you would have seen, making sure to fold over the very kind of top of that peel to make the peel like shape very happy with how this turned out i used four in total i thought that was a nice kind of even amount and i just squished them to the it would cover the whole entire piece to make sure all of the fingerprints and stuff were off i used some acetone um, nail polish remover on a cotton pad just wipe that down before baking and then obviously i baked it again i did press the kind of whole banana down on my desk before baking as well so that I knew that it would stand up on my desk because obviously this is desk friend you want to make sure it is able to stand so yeah I did press that down before baking to make sure the bottom was like nice and flat and even and level <laughs> um, once it was baked however I decided to go back in and smooth it out even more so I used a mixture of a nail file at I think maybe 180 grit and then I used a nail buffing kind of square cube thing um, I always like to use these it brings out a nice kind of even finish removes any um like fingerprints which may have baked on and yeah it's always good to have a nice smooth surface before painting it definitely elevates your piece so i'd highly recommend it. if you're not sanding and stuff already on your pieces then it definitely give it a go for painting i just use acrylic paint the brands that i mainly prefer are pbo or golden acrylics um golden's a lot more expensive than pba pba is kind of like a budget version um but both are gorgeous paints and yeah i would highly recommend both of those brands so i painted the main center and the top parts of the peel in a really really real pastel kind of like yellow banana shade obviously and then i went in with the dark yellow for the outsides of the peel and the base of the kind of desk rend i thought these colors matched perfectly together like look how nice they are so pleased then i took a dot and tool with some white acrylic and i put the white acrylic on where i wanted the eyes to be either side of that mouth that i kind of carved out painted the inside of the mouth in a darker color red and made the tongue in a lighter pink i thought that was a fun addition i used to do black on the mouths and i've been doing black on the mouths for some of my desk friends like for my shops and everything but recently for my own personal pieces i've been doing this color a bit different i know but i do like it <laughs> the pupils i just painted on in black in those white kind of eyes that i left on there before i then added some blush either side of the eyes because i felt like it needed something a little bit extra and i added some little white kind of like 
um, shine marks into that as well I don't know why I just thought that that would give it a bit more extra detailing because it is quite a plain piece once I was happy with all of the paint it had all kind of dried cured down I then glazed it all in UV resin with a little bit of glitter mixed in now it's fully glazed coming in up close you can see just how shiny it is and all of the little bits of glitter in there I love 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 adding bits of glitter to my UV resin I just think it gives it an extra touch and I really 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 like how it turns out on my final pieces so yeah here's the banana I think this is going to look absolutely adorable on my shelf along with all of my other collectibles so yeah, anyway I hope you have enjoyed today's video if you did like it then please do give this video a thumbs up before leaving leave a comment if you want to see me make anything in particular coming up over the 30 days of clay if you do want to keep updated on the uploads then be sure to subscribe before leaving and yeah I'll see you tomorrow for another DIY bye